is Ned Harvey. I am the Chief Operating Officer at RMI. I am leading our solar market transformation project uh, in which we are working with uh, the entire supply chain ecosystem of the solar industry to identify ways that we can uh, accelerate the pace of solar adoption and accelerate the scale of solar in the United States. Solar happens to be one of the, one of the renewable energy technologies that really lends itself well to scale. As the market demand grows, it will automatically bring a lot of the costs down. That isn't quite as true for wind and other technologies because fundamentally those are, uh, they're not continuous manufacturing process. You have to build a turbine by turbine by turbine. It's also one of the very few technologies that can be installed very easily in a lot of locations. You can put it on your roof, you can put it on free land. There's a lot of sun in your local region. Um, you can put solar wherever you can find it. Solar just happens to be this great technology that is very far along on the, on the uh, technology life cycle. And it can bring power generation down to the smallest unit. It can bring it to the household. It can bring it to the business. It can bring it to the city. The, the objective is to get the overall cost of solar down so it can compete with other traditional technologies like coal or natural gas. That hardware cost is going down very fast, uh, but the, the, the balance of system costs and the process costs are actually going up. And uh, that revelation is what uh, essentially got a lot of attention, um, shifted some of the DOE's focus, and uh, actually brought a lot of activity to bear in the market right now. When you're looking at this process challenge, one of the one of the most expensive aspects of trying to develop large-scale solar system is the inefficiency of working with utility. What we in the DOE realized is that it would be really the only way to take the cost out of that is to try to work with the utilities themselves to understand how their business models might be improved by using solar or other distributed generation. Because RMI is active in that area and our, through our next generation utility initiative. We, f we felt that we had a really great solution, which was to create a collaborative or a laboratory, if you will, where we can work with actual utilities, actual solar industry players, you know, other members of the ecosystem to come together and really explore what solar might mean to the utility of the future. Modules are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper. Um, however, I, as far as we can tell, we've seen no real reduction in um, the process costs. So this effort is critical to continuing uh, the momentum downward. It just represents a great opportunity. Now the question is, can we work with utilities and cities and governments to see how they can find the benefit of that?